So, uh, welcome. Today, um, I tried to upload my video from Mage or Connected, but that didn't even work. So, um, thanks for joining me today. You know, it is such an important week that we're moving into. And hi, everyone. Um, there are so many great things that are coming in, coming through, but it's very important that our focus is um, really our intention, our focus is on the light. Because if our focus is anywhere else, then we will experience whatever we're looking at. We'll experience that in our space. And this is where we'll get off track from our goals, our dreams. So um, this Saturday is Halloween and it is a blue moon. So join me for blue moon magic. And a blue moon is it is the second moon of October. Not only that, though, but we've been working since um, I the beginning of actually October. The veil is thinning. Now it's getting to be the thinnest. I'm sure you can start to feel the energy of the moon and maybe emotions are starting to uprise or you may feel very vulnerable. You may feel like um, just emotional for no reason, but this is a great time to actually allow these things to percolate and it's going to even get more intense. But by allowing them to come up, we're actually um, going to be integrating our masculine and feminine into wholeness, into one, being balanced. When we are balanced, that way we can be a whole person. That way we can approach our dreams and our goals, not from a narrow vision or one side of duality or the other. But we can not only come into this time, into this blue moon, you gotta have a focus um, coming into this weekend. You gotta be focused on the light. It's like the trees. The trees are focused on the light. And by focusing on the light, they grow, they thrive. So ask yourself, daily I'm asking myself this question, what wins my attention? Am I focused on social media or am I focused on drama or the election? And yes, we all are focused on different things, but ask yourself this question. Am I focused on God? Am I focused on the light? And if something else is pulling your attention more than the light, then you'll find that that reality, kind of that duality, kind of even the drama or the chaos around that will start to come into your life. So going into this weekend is very important. You are light focused, that you are focused on the light because when you are focused on the light, then you naturally grow, you bloom, kind of you have your space. And by just occupying and having your space, kind of like you are the lantern in this time of a lot of darkness. Now, what happens when you kind of connect to the light, you become the light. You become the expression of what you came here to do. And so as the veil is thinning, we're going to experience even our ancestors more, kind of their intentions. We're going to experience maybe, um, you may feeling be feeling emotional, but what your experience is, is something even in your past, your genetic line, what they experienced. They're taking us to kind of where they came to a dead end, where maybe they weren't able to create beyond a picture. Maybe they weren't able to experience full love in their space. And so you will be brought to that threshold, to that door, and it will be coming <laughs> this weekend <laughs> if you haven't already started to feel it. So. First of all, if you are feeling it, the emotions rising, allow that to be okay. It is okay. And the more that we can let the emotions arise and just be with it and realize that it's really not us, but it is something percolating in us, something from our genetic line, and we can give it space if we start to resist what shows up and what is coming up in this time, then that resistance will lock you into a pattern. It will lock you into duality with it and it won't let go of you. 
But if we can just feel kind of what is coming up, the emotions, the feelings, whatever is coming up, and just hold space for it and just acknowledge it, just see it and just kind of be in our space and allow it to be. And actually what you can do too is whatever emotions are coming up in this time, you can create a bubble for it and kind of move that bubble kind of outside of your space and allow it to be in its own space. You know, energy has to go somewhere and it will inhabit us if we're in resistance. But if you can create that bubble out in front of you and allow whatever energy is coming up in you, maybe fear, maybe doubt, maybe not having a clear vision of what the future is like, or just picking up on the anxieties of the currents of the election, and just the feelings that are coming up, just allow kind of the energy to move into this field of energy, into this circle, move outside of your space. You're then allowing it to go somewhere, not that you become the expression of the emotions and the feelings of whatever currents you're passing by. So in this time, you have to be very direct of where is my attention? your attention is gold and whatever your attention is on you become the effect of that energy so if you're starting to experience sadness or doubt or fear it means that you're looking at something around you or somebody around you and you're picking up on that vibration and so you ask yourself the question what will win in my life kind of this drama i'm looking at or the light and so when you look at the light, then you can start to experience the light in you. You can start to experience a new energy coming through. Now going into this full moon, it's very important that you are focused on your dreams and on your goals. By having that attention, it's like that light is coming in and we're just putting that spotlight on that blue moon. I have a picture that I'll be posting of that blue moon. Keep your attention there. That electric blue is spirit. That electric blue is illuminating and it is being reflected off that moon. If you can focus on that blue, electric blue, it means that you are leading with spirit. And if you lead with spirit, then your dreams will follow. Your dreams will start to illuminate in this time. And, it, you know, it's here I'm talking to a client and here she's got the hurricane going on right next to her, trees getting ripped out. And I'm like, in the chaos, focus on the dreams, on this blue dream, on this dream that is coming true. Putting the light on that, being completely centered in your internal space, that peace, that space within in your heart. And by turning your attention within, this is where you can experience the light. Now, when we look at our environment and our surroundings and all the chaos, do not get involved. Do not put your attention out there. By focusing in, you are going to be that beacon of light. Now, when you are that beacon of light, people will start to move around you. They'll start to see it because it's so rare in this time. And when they see it in our genetic line, like our ancestors are here with us. So we are spreading the love to our ancestors. You know, what happens is our ancestors are here. They will be taking their journey back once the veil starts to thicken and is not so thin. But now we can capture this opportunity of redoing our intentions, redoing our dreams with our ancestors, because they're bringing us to the place of where they got stuck, of where they don't know how to create beyond. So we can give them a space. And if you can imagine a blue bubble around all of them, kind of so that they don't invade your space, because they have access actually to our energy field. And if we can put an intention, a diamond right out in front of us, 
to tell them here is our new dream. Our new dream is that we lead with our spirit. We focus on the light. We are connected. That our dreams, we have our dreams. We're not even trying to create our dreams. That they are here. And that this blue energy, this blue moon, the energy of Halloween, the blue moon, is our dreams here. And they don't even have to come soon. They are here right now. And it's hard to see because of all of the chaos swirling kind of around. It's kind of like with my client, as the hurricane is there, we're doing energy work. <laughs> and we're like, you know, what? we don't care what the chaos is happening around. We are focused within. Because when you are focused within, what happens is you become the eye of that storm, the spin, the hurricane, kind of the spin starts to move around. And this peace and this calm is within you. And something new is coming in and it's coming through. So you become the light. And what happens when you are the light? Energy start to come around because they want a way out. It's kind of like flies when they fly into your home. They look for the windows. They look for the light. They look for a way out. They're just trying to get free. And a lot of this chaos that we're seeing now is energies trying to get free, trying to break through and connect up to release. So the way for our ancestors to kind of move out, to kind of go into a new space, for us to be in a new space, is for us to be that light. And by connecting to the light, we realize we are the light. Now we become a portal of light. Now we are able to release whatever blocks we have that have been blocking us to receiving our dreams. Having this means that we can just be in that space of having it. That you can share in your space. And by being in your space, it's funny, my mom's calling. <laughs> She's feeling it <laughs> by being in your space, genetic line, right? Coming in, coming through, wanting to kind of move out. This is where a lot of, a lot of spirits are passing. A lot of people are passing in this time. So we want to just give so much gratitude, light a candle, be thankful for your genetic line. Thank the genetic line to where they've brought you. They've brought you to a place of where you were moving beyond their limits. And we are in such gratitude to them because we were able to achieve where we're at right now because of thousands of years of where they brought us and for us to even survive, for us to create something new, we're in gratitude. And now we redirect their attention at, okay, here's what we're really gonna do. We are going to use this blue moon such a rare time to launch kind of our new life. And I'm so excited for all of you to be creating. I see all of you creating something new, just having something new. And whether your past has not reflected that, it is the time. And how you are going to receive it is to be focused on that light. So what wins? All right, well, where's your attention? It all begins with attention and our attention is on that light. We choose that light and by choosing the light, nothing else, we pull, we withdraw our attention from the world. We draw it out of even the election, even though you vote, but pull your attention back. Do not give energy to everything outside of you because your dream is happening here and now and you can have it. And this time of internal reflection, this time of being with your internal eye on your heart means that you're going to have your dreams in a new way. So as you go into this weekend, join me Saturday on Halloween, on the full moon, the blue full moon, and we are going to be focusing on our reality. And as we go through the eye of the storm, your attention has got to be somewhere. So keep it focused on the blue. The blue energy I use 
it is kind of that electric blue. It is about spirit. Spirit is that electric blue. It will protect you. It will seal you. It, you know, and in this time we pick up all this residue. We can't help but pick up the residue of just people and their moods and even things going through the airway, the emotional. A lot of times it's um, very important that you don't, you know, kind of reflect that you thinking the issues in your life have to do with you because we are all in a collective. People are experiencing a lot of emotion. And so your attention has to be somewhere. So turn it within on that heart. Focus on that electric blue. And in the external, focus on that blue moon. Blue moon is such a rare thing. And in that blue moon, it is illuminating kind of all of the pictures that are coming up for us to let go of, to release. And we can focus on our dream, focus on what we are having. And Tom, I am sending love out to you, to your father. Tom's father has just passed and, you know, and he passed in such a beautiful time because the genetic line, the veil is thin and all of his ancestors and relatives and your relatives are here. So we are sending, you know, praises and we are hooking your dad up and sending so much love to you, Tom, and to your family, you know, in this time and all of people's relatives that have passed, that we are giving gratitude and your father is so proud of you, Tom, <laughs> and your genetic line and how you have transformed it and changed it. And so we are just sending blessings to, to all of our relatives, to all of our ancestors, and to where they have brought us in this time. And so praise, praise, sending praises to him and hooking him up to the light. And so all these souls that are passing in this time, the souls, souls that have passed, they are always with us. They never leave. And so it's like, we have a new form of relationship with them. I think that spirits, you know, it's like I have more of a relationship with spirits sometimes than people because they are here. They never leave in a sense. They can move in and out. And by being and saying hello to them and being in relationship, you grow, they grow. And it is something that is eternal. So, so many blessings to you. This is Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. <laughs> so much love, you know, to, to all of you and your family. And so with all of our families, if we can just even see our genetic line and say hello and give gratitude to them, so many blessings happen by thanking them for the journey that we're on and then getting them to move into kind of this next phase of our life of creating love, of creating light that we must all choose in this time moving forward to focus on the light. So if there is any drama in your life, if there is anything your attention is on that isn't right, you have the power and the ability to pull your attention off of it and to focus on God and the light and when you do, now you can see your light to come through. And this is where all your blessings can be received. And so just like the trees, they know what to do. They are all focused on the light. Their attention does not veer. And going into this weekend where emotions may be heightened because of the full moon going into the election, we are focused on the light. We are focused on God because we receive all things through there. In the nation, you know, one side or the other side is kind of like be focused within on that center point on that light, because if you focus on one side, your power goes to them, then you're divided, and then you're locked in to a dynamic where you feel powerless or hopeless. And by bringing your attention within, redirects you into a whole new beautiful life. So join me, hi Jessica, on Moon Magic on Saturday because we are going to be working um, by focusing in this time 
of having our dreams and it's here. So sending you so many blessings and prayers and just sending you the light. And I see all of you having beautiful things. I see all of your dreams in your body where your hearts are open, where you're shining your light. By allowing the light to shine through you, you become a portal where every block in you just moves out and that you can have your dreams here and now. And you can just be and experience the energy that you can feel it. So I'm holding that space for all of you and let's open to love, light, and grace so we can experience this energy that is coming through. So many blessings to all of you. And I'm just going to focus within and send out a healing and Uncle Tom, a blessing to your father on his journey, that he makes that journey with peace and love. And just set your intentions. If you have intentions, just set that intention right now. And I'm gonna hook those intentions up and let's hook them and hand them over to God and send them up to God. And may all your families be blessed and that we are all unified, especially coming into next week that we are not divided. By being divided as a nation, we are separate and divided, but by choosing that center point where we are all whole. And by unifying, then we can experience the love within our space. So, so many blessings, and I see that uh, miracles coming your way. Thanks for joining, and um, join me on Moon Magic on Saturday at KimBellissimo.com. Love you guys. Bye.